So the markets are bleeding heavy today. There's a lot of selling pressure in the altcoin markets. And a lot of this market movement is due to Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, of course, broke down through 60K and now it is testing 57K. So whatever Bitcoin does from here is going to determine, right, what will happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, if Bitcoin breaks through this red zone, right, if it goes below 56 and a half, then we are going to be retesting this 52, 51, and 50K range, which was this previous consolidation zone around February and March. Um, so what Bitcoin does from here is vastly, vastly important. Things are definitely looking a little bit scary, right? A lot of you might be wondering, hey, right, like, are you worried? Is it time to sell? You know, I'm panicking because my portfolio is down 20, 30, 40%. Um, well, that's just the name of the game, right? This is the name of the game for crypto this is what we expect because whenever things go up right your portfolio goes up 30 40 50 percent whenever things go down your portfolio goes down that much as well so it's such a volatile space that is why i want to emphasize the risk in this asset class right the risk and the reward is so great in crypto meaning the risk is very high, but the reward is even higher. It's all psychological. And if you've been in the market long enough to understand this, then you're gonna be a lot more calm in these situations, right? A lot of your new investors are the ones that are getting pushed out of the market right now. Um, and whenever you go to my comment section, right, you're gonna see a few people fudding everything, right? They're, they're saying, this is a scam, this is gonna crash, this is gonna keep crashing. Um, there's gonna be one or two of those people and I don't want you guys to get shaken out because someone in a comment section or someone in some random video was flooding and saying, oh, everything's going to go down, everything's going to crash to zero, right? That is how you lose money if you listen to these people um, that keep saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling, because eventually they are, they are going to be correct, but right now is not that time yet, right? All coins are still going to have an altcoin season. Bitcoin is still going to go above 100K. This right now is just a roadblock in the grand scheme of things, right? If Bitcoin goes down to 51K, that is not the end of the world, right? Bitcoin has literally been there. In February, we were basically ecstatic, right? Bitcoin was at 51K and then it had all this, this run up to 73K and we've basically been consolidating since. So if we touch back to 51K, then that's pretty normal in the grand scheme of things when you consider technical analysis, right? Because that's a previous area of support. And right now the market conditions aren't looking too well. So it makes total sense. Uh, if you look at the news of why Bitcoin kind of had this tumble, right? This is probably one of the leading contributors to that. Uh, the German government transfers almost $200 million of Bitcoin. This is just a lot of manipulation. Um, and overall, the market right now is being heavily heavily manipulated um, so you have to understand to be patient right um, to not be panicked if we take a look at bitcoin dominance you can see bitcoin is still within basically this green range right here so um, nothing to panic here right if, if you saw a giant dip in bitcoin dominance then maybe hey I would panic a little bit because, you know, why aren't my altcoins going up when we're seeing this dip in Bitcoin dominance? But right now, it's completely normal, right? Everything is on track. Um, let's look at the daily chart, actually. Let's just look at the entire graph as a whole, right? Eventually, you're going to see this. You're going to see this giant dip in Bitcoin dominance, which will happen around, I don't know, maybe August, September, October, November. Who knows? But eventually, we're going to see this drop in Bitcoin dominance. And when that happens, that's when your altcoin season begins. But in order for that to happen first, we need to see Bitcoin continue to hit all-time highs, right? Bitcoin needs to continue to, halt, to hit all-time highs, hit maybe 100K, 150K. Then we expect this drop in Bitcoin dominance to happen. Um, but before then, right, a lot of your altcoins are going to bleed. If you're mainly invested in altcoins right now, then, um, you know, you're going to see maybe more bleeding than someone that has only Ethereum and Bitcoin in their portfolio because right now is the time where Bitcoin is actually the one to shine over your altcoins, right? Um, over, I mean, there's maybe some altcoins that are doing well outperforming Bitcoin, but a majority of the market right now, 95% of the market is underperforming Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is actually doing better than 95% of your altcoins out there right now. Um, of course, I know there's a few exceptions out there, but in terms of when you see red days, right, Bitcoin, the decrease in Bitcoin is a lot smaller relative to the decrease in your altcoins. So um, if you're 
mainly an altcoin investor, be prepared for more bleeding. Um, just be patient, right? Be patient. Don't panic. Um, everything's going to be okay because we still have this. We still have altcoin season in the horizon. If we take a look at the daily chart for Bitcoin, there's actually a very, very interesting indicator that I want you guys to see. And that indicator is the 200 EMA, right? So right here, this green line right here, uh, this thin green line is the 200 EMA. And if we actually zoom in, we can see that this EMA was actually broken, right? This red, giant red candle that we had yesterday actually completely broke this EMA. Um, as you can see right now, we are below the EMA. The EMA is at 58K, we're at 57K right now. Um, so what does that mean, guys? Well, that means that we are definitely testing a very strong support zone. Because this EMA has held for basically the past year and a half. And if we break down through this EMA, then that's a break of a major, major support zone and potentially a flip from bullish to bearish, right? Right now, most people are still very bullish on Bitcoin, bullish on the crypto market in general, right? I would say, you know, all of you watching my channel are very, very bullish, right? Or else you wouldn't be invested in crypto at all. But you can see because of this break, um, in this 200 EMA, right? That is kind of a testing point, right? We're testing whether or not we're still bullish or bearish. If we go uh, extremely below this, if we go back down to 51, 52K in this range that I've outlined right here, then that's another very, very important zone um, that we cannot break if we want to continue staying bullish, right? But this is the first test. We haven't completely broken through yet. As you can see, we broke through and then we were, now we're retracing back, right? We had this giant wick. Um, this means there's actually a lot of buying pressure, right? We went all the way down to 60, 56K and a lot of people thought that was a great opportunity because that was basically this all-time low right here or this uh, local low. Um, so people bought it up and now we're back at 58K. So basically what I'm saying is there's a lot of of selling pressure but also there's a lot of buying pressure at these support zones so right now it looks like we're doing okay i'm not going to hold your hand through this time of volatility but you guys need to understand this right these four things i covered this in one of my last videos but understanding these four items will ensure that you stay patient that you stay composed that you stay knowledgeable about the market so that you don't lose money and you actually make money uh, even in this volatile market right Understanding Bitcoin dominance, which I covered briefly in today's video, right? Understanding when altcoin season begins, very, very important. Buying the right narratives, that's very important as well. And most importantly, patience and exit plan, right? Most of your coins are going to do very well, right? Maybe some might do a 2 to 3x, some might do a 10 to 20x, right? But most of them are going to go up. And having patience is a very, very good virtue to have because it allows you to see, to realize those gains. But... An exit plan allows you to lock in those gains, right? So patience allows you to see that in your portfolio, but an exit plan allows that to see that to see that money in your bank account, um, which is the most important thing at the end of the day, right? You can see, um, you know, a plus one thousand percent in your Coinbase uh, account, you know, and it wouldn't really mean anything because that money's not in your hand. But an exit plan ensures that money gets into your bank account, gets into your wallet gets into your pockets. That is the most important thing. Um, but right now, the main important factors are going to be dominance, narrative, and patience. These three items will ensure that you don't panic sell in these conditions, right? I mean, if you look at the past day, past week, past month, right, things are really not looking too well. Past month, all of your altcoins in the top 100 have gone down anywhere from 30, 40 to 50%, right? Look at something like Gala, right? Look at Say, look at Sheep, right? Everything's basically down except for Brett, actually. So if you kind of listen to my videos, right, and you bought Brett, then congratulations because you're actually up for the month um, when everything is down. But most of your, your other coins are going to be down. But hey, guys, past year, right, we're still up massively, massively, right? Look at something like Pepe, look at something like Bonk, Caspa, right? These coins are going to continue to do well. Um, and right now is just a little roadblock in the way. So make sure to stay patient, guys. Make sure to stay composed. But that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.